Alright, so welcome to another lesson. And this is actually the first uh, part of the challenge, which is to build a Twitter clone. So let's go ahead and open twitter.com and I'm in the dark mode of uh, my Twitter account and uh, we're going to start by building the layout, just the layout. So first of all, let's do the background color. So let's check out what the background color is. Copy it and use it. All right. Okay, so we'll change this to use that. But first of all, let's get rid of this. But note that I have actually created my application and integrated and designed into it. So I'm going to use Undesign component. If you've not integrated Undesign yet, I have a video in the document, uh, the description section, where you can check how to integrate Undesign into your React applications. So uh, again, we use a main component. Let's get rid of the app CSS and the logo. And the main component is going to be found in here layouts. I'm going to have the main .js. I'm going to yeah have it a main component. Uh, we're going to import that and use that here. So yeah, we have black. So in here going to use a row component from and design and uh, let me make some changes so let's add a style I'm going to add a background color first I'm going to do the height to fill the whole page and we do um, 100 vh and uh, let's see yeah so we have uh, we have the background color working. I'm going to add three columns. So first column, second, and then third. All for the three columns here. Let me add some background colors so that we see them. I'll later take them off. So get rid of the height. Okay, let's keep the height. Oh, all right. To so the background color, let's make this black, white, and green. Let's take a look and see what we get. Okay, so we get nothing. Why is that? Let's check it out. So we have this, we have that, and, that. and it's because we've not set the width. We've not set um, how it's supposed to fill. So let's go into our grid um, com component documentation and ads and let's see how we can do that so let's check out this documentation and we can use this pan to decide how it should fill and it uses 24 as the highest but we're not going to do that what we would do is we're going to set it for each breakpoint that is for each one is uh, on mobile, one is on uh, larger screens, one is on large screens, yeah, that kind of thing. So I think I have, yeah, we have something here we can use. So we're going to set <coughs> for each. So when it's on smaller screen, the first one should be zero. Here, this should be. Yeah. And uh, medium, it should be wow. So let, let's do that on a large screen. It should be how oh, should we give it? Let's give it a, 
6 and smaller screen you can give it a a medium screen you give it 2 do the same thing for the last one here let's take a look yeah so you see we get a 2 so left with the middle portion with the middle of 1 on uh, very small screens you should fill the whole thing 24 on um, not small we should give it a okay because I mean still yeah let's give it a 24 so, so let's take this off and on medium because we have two and two here to be left with 20 so we give it a 20 on large screens we have six and six and there's 12 so let's give this a 12 let's take a look at it right so at least we have something working for us mm -hmm. yeah yeah Okay, so I'm thinking it should be looking at Twitter one. It should be, it shouldn't be 20. Um, let me verify something here. Yeah, 20 for this is not. So for this, should be say 16 and let's give this a 0 and uh, this should be an 8 then on uh, large um, screens let's do this uh, an 8 give this to an 8 So no, so two plus two is sixteen plus yeah. So let's check it out. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think we can increase this a little to say eighteen. <laughs> Give this uh. So if it's eighteen, we'll be left with um. Six. So this should be a six here. Yeah. All right. All right. I I meant to um up change the large screen. So let's give this uh, a 10 instead. And we have a 6. So um, it's 24, so we have a 2, um, yeah, a 6 and a 6. Oh. No, 7 and a 7, 14, and then a 10, 24. So, well, we will make some tweaks later on, but let's just bring the border um, Let's see if we can get the border here So let's use the border and let's get rid of the background colors so Okay. No, the border will rather go to the middle portion. Let me take it off and put it here. 
the base background color to the way. Let's see how it is now. Nothing. Why? Okay, so we have a oh so there's a black we will change it. Mm, it's border one pixel solid all right so yeah um okay so let's do something instead uh, let's add a border top to be none So let me get rid of the top and then the uh, border color should be, uh, let me see if this works. Mm. Let's see if we can get the actual border color. This is a background uh, border and border and border. Okay, we can just do something quickly for us to get it. So let me just uh, use that to pick. Okay, all right, now we can. Use that instead. Okay. All right. So we have our border. So we have our layout with the brass. And when you check this, as you decrease the width, you see that this one becomes very small. So think on the medium aspect you need to make this portion very small um, okay I think that would be for the small parts and then we need to include the excess excess make this a zero so I think nah it should be a, a two all the time um, and then this should be a 24 sorry 22 yeah for um, yes oh and then this okay let's check it out all right so yeah and uh, okay uh, yeah so sure that be xx and we will still get a two and as we increase yeah we get that and as we come and then we get that so i think that's it so yeah mm -hmm. so that's it we have our layouts ready so in the next um lesson i'll take a look at this portion that is the navigation the menus and then uh button here the logo i'll take a look at this portion we'll build that out in the next lesson